thank you very much for inviting me here today. It's a, it's a great honour to talk to you all. Um, as you're probably aware, we are the sort of main clothing sponsor for the Olympics, and we've been working ever since London really became the um, Olympic city. We've been working with the Olympic Committee to try to uh, put things in place to make sure that consumers, when they do come over here, have a good experience. The last thing we want them to be doing is buying things that as soon as they wash them, the colour runs or it shrinks or the buttons drop off or the things just drop to bits. So we've been working very closely and going out and training for both police, trading standards, customs, anyone that will listen to us to be honest. And whilst um, unfortunately the Farisha can't be with us, um, one of the things that I'm sure she would want me to point out to everybody is that the easiest thing for anyone to recognise a genuine Olympic product is this holographic sticker that they put on everything. If it's not got this holographic sticker on, then people should be certainly concerned. And just to double with that, we have our own security labels inside products. But I have to say that up until now, we've seen very, very little in the way of counterfeit products. We're assuming that the tidal wave is going to come perhaps after Christmas. We're working on the principle that probably counterfeiters are not going to want to be caught with vast quantities of product at the moment, but it is going to come. And I mean, one of the things that we have seen, because we've been talking this morning about online um, frauds, is this T-shirt. This T-shirt was unfortunately bought from our favourite source, eBay. Um, it was available in any colour you wanted. You could have it in men's, you could have it in women's, you could have it in satin sleeves or raglan sleeves or however you wanted. It's a direct copy of this Adidas t-shirt. The only thing missing, of course, is the Adidas logo and um, the Adidas labelling. So we are out there watching all the time and working closely with Farisha and her team at Lowcock. We are joined in with Brandi, which I know is, is associated with the Trading Standards Institute. And anybody seeing any fake websites can report them to them and they will report it back to us for us to take some sort of action on. And of course we're members of the anti-counterfeiting group and they've given us great support when it comes to getting the message out there about anti-counterfeiting of um, Olympic products. Come Olympic time, we will have our own team of people in and around London out there looking and working again with the local people and the police and trading standards to try and ensure that any product that does turn up in the marketplace is removed immediately. And um, we're watching all of the time online. We've got our colleagues in Europe also looking in case any product turns up there. And whilst I'm not exactly the right shape to be an Olympic athlete myself, <laughs> it probably does give me an advantage on sneaking up on people because they probably don't even realise who I work for at that stage. <laughs> Although they might have to the to get out. Um, I seem to spend half of my time sneaking around corners and things like that. But it's going to be worth it if all the visitors to London have a good, enjoyable time. And that's really what we're all out here for.